let the first term in the expression for y be equal to u and let the second term be equal to v. Therefore, y is equal to u plus v, which implies that dy upon dx is equal to du upon dx plus dv upon dx. Now, u is equal to e raised to the power x times sine x cube. Therefore, ln u is equal to x times sine x cube. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get 1 upon u times du upon dx is equal to sine x cubed times the derivative of x, which is 1, plus x times the derivative of sine x cubed, which is cos of x cubed times 3x square. Therefore, du upon dx is equal to u, which is e raised power x times sine x cubed, times, in brackets, sine x cubed, plus 3x cubed, times cos x cube. Now the second term in the expression for y is v which is equal to tan x raised to the power x. Again take the log of both sides therefore ln v is equal to x times ln tan x. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x we get 1 upon v times dv upon dx is equal to ln of tan x times the derivative of x which is 1 plus x times the derivative of ln of tan x, which is 1 upon tan x times sec square x. Tan x can be replaced with sin x upon cos x. And therefore, dv upon dx is equal to v, which is tan x raised to the power x, times, in brackets, ln of tan x plus x times sec x times cosec x. Using the above results for du upon dx and dv upon dx, the value of dy upon dx is equal to e raised to the power x times sine x cube times in brackets sine x cube plus 3x cube times cos x cube plus tan x raised to the power x times in brackets ln of tan x plus x times sec x times cosec x which is the required answer.